The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support.
How long, Florence? You know, these things are not easy. Why are all these men leaving me? Is there any prayer burden? Is there any prayer points that you have? So, I'm looking for somebody that will take good care of my boys. Hmm. And take good care of me, too. Trust me, he's a good man. Yeah, I don't need to say anything, you know, to you about him. We, he will be at the party on Saturday. I called you to set some days aside to seek the face of God in fasting and prayer. If you are not going for the party, allow me to go. It is a kill the will of God. It is an act of dishonor. see her face. What kind of dream is this, Lord? Holy Spirit, please help me with understanding and insight into this dream. Whatever it means, I counsel it to the blood of Jesus. Strange woman, at silence, every voice that is against the that is contrary to the voice of God, I silence them in the name of Jesus. Every vain imagination, I cast them in the name of Jesus. No strange woman will have a way in our home, in our family, in the name of Jesus. Our husband is called, our ministry is called, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, fight our battles, protect my home, oh God. I seal my home with the blood of Jesus. I cover my husband and myself with the blood of Jesus. No evil will come against us. No plague will do
Hello, Ma. Good morning, Ma. Hello, Star Franca. How are you doing? I am fine, Ma. How are you and Pastor doing? We are great. God has been helping us. Praise God. <laughs> Will you be attending the church uh, retreat? I will be attending the church retreat now. Have you registered and paid? I've made the transfer to Brother Jude. What of Sister Joyce? She's yet to register. Please, can you call and check on her? Okay, ma. I will get across to her and I will call you back soon, ma. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen, ma. Amen, ma. Bye for that, ma. Bye. Ah, hello, Sister Joyce. How are you? Have you registered for the church retreat? Why? Okay. Okay, I will be waiting for your call. All right. Okay, ma. Bye. How are you, Franca? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, you know. I was already on my way to see you when I got your call. Did I tell you about Pastor Fred? That Pastor Fred is organizing a program? Before you talk about Pastor Fred, why are you not registering for the church retreat? Registered? For which retreat? Who are the people that will be ministering there? Is it not the pastor and his wife? No. I'm not going for the church retreat. You know, we had a, I have an issue with the pastor wife sometimes, but. Well, should have you let that matter go? Yeah, I thought oh, I should let it go too until I begin to see her in my dream. Yes, Franca. Yeah, she was chasing me in my dream. You don't believe me? No, no, no. no I believe you. Oh. I saw her chasing after me in my dream. Twice. Not once, not twice. Yes. Mm. That woman's spirit is not right. There is something definitely wrong with her. Joyce, really? Yes. You remember when we were praying the other day? And the Lord spoke through you that He's going to be revealing things to us. Mm, yes. In fact, God has been showing me things about the church. That altar is a strange altar. Jesus. Mm. The pastor and his wife, they are not clean. Sister Joyce. Yes, Sister Franca. Are you sure of all you are seeing? Are ah, ah, you not my prayer partner? We've not been praying together. Yeah, because I've not seen such. No. But God speaks to you. And God speaks to me. And I tell you what he tells me. And that is it. See, there is a level and a realm that you get to. Mm. That God begins to show you things deeper than the ordinary. Mm. I told you, join me. You know, when I was going for the program, I went. The other time you did it. Anyway, that apart. The church case is a close case. I'm not coming to that church anymore. Yeah, the Lord has spoken. The Lord wants me to be on my own, you know? Mm -hmm. To be on my own. Because there is something great ahead that the Lord is preparing and equipping me for. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this year, I want you to join me to travel down to Pastor Fred's program. Actually, not Pastor Fred's program, but his wife's program. Mm. Why are you doing that? Why are you looking at me like that? I have this at this new level of revelation. But don't 
don't you know, Pastor Fred? I don't think so. I don't think so. Have I not told you about Pastor Fred before? I cannot really remember. Oh my goodness. I've been following him now for more than one year. Oh, Pastor Fred is such an anointed man of God, full of grace and power. And God is doing awesome things to him. Young and focused, energized for the work of God. You know what? I'm going to give you their website and you're going to follow it up. The wife is organizing a program for women, you know, this summer. And I want us to go together. It will be after your church retreat anyway. Yeah, I want you to be a partaker of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure you're going to love Pastor's friend ministration because he's going to be ministering in the program. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's going to be something different for you to take apart from all this church or job thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Okay, okay, which church are you intending to go now? To go to church? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm waiting on the Lord. The Lord wants me to be on my home because there is an higher, higher assignment the Lord is equipping me for. Mm. Watch and pray, please. Eh? Watch very well because if the Lord is taking you somewhere, who am I to stop the Lord from taking you? But do you remember, frankly, you're my prayer partner. We prayed together about seven months ago while we were praying here. You told me that the Lord said he had something great in store for me. Do you remember that day that I told you? Yes, this is a confirmation. Mm. I remember. Ah, God is actually working out something great. But don't worry. I'm going to tell you more about it from the program. Okay, my sister. Hi, Sister George. Yes. It is well. God bless you. Amen. God will strengthen you as you are going for this. Uh, you say you want to go for a retreat, your personal retreat. Yes. The Lord will be with you. going to the Highland. Mm -hmm. Ah, the Highland. Yes. yes. For the retreat. Yes. God go with you. Amen. God be with you. Amen. May God speak to you, Clara. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Do you know? Do you know what? As I'm, as we, you are praying now, Sister Franca. You know, the Lord showed me something about you right now. Okay. Yeah. I see you getting a new job. Hmm. But you're not working. I see you getting a new job. Okay. Amen. With a higher pay. Amen. And so it will be. Amen. 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 What do you have in your kitchen? Uh, I'm just preparing some yam. Do you care for? Oh, Nigerian yam. You can it's say that. Like that. All right, All right my sister. Hello, Miriam. That was a very beautiful presentation today at the board meeting. Oh, thank you so much, Miriam. Please, I would like to share something with you. Can you spare me a minute today? During break time. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. That should be in about an hour's time. I think I should be able to spare a few minutes. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Please come in. Hello, Miriam. Hi. Please have your seat. Thank you. I wanted to ask you for your opinion on something. Though it's outside our office work. Okay. What's that about? It is uh, something personal, like spiritual. Mm. Okay, go on then. I know you are a very devout Christian, a pastor. I think you can help me on this. And what is that thing? I want to know your thoughts about dreams. Dreams? Yes. Like the things you see when you are sleeping. Oh, okay. Well... Literally, dreams can be, you know, a flow of thoughts, images, or sensation of things that happen when we are asleep. 
but also for us children of God, I mean Christians, dreams can also be a way of God saying some things to us or you know revealing some things to us. I know it's a weird minute to my dream more until recently. That's what I'm having this conversation with you. Oh really? Yes. Our dreams are very powerful in helping us understand what might be happening, you know, whether that be in the past, in the present, or in the future. And if you look through the Bible, you realize that there are several men and women of God, or several men and women, that God actually used dreams, you know, they, 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 these are people that dreamt, and those dreams were a pointer of something that was to happen in the future. Although sometimes it may appear proverbial, um, sometimes it may just be multitude of our thoughts and it may just bring about that, bring about the dream and sometimes the devil may actually be manipulating our dreams to bring about confusion and all manners of evil. So if a child of God is having such dreams, she needs to rise up in prayer and cancel such vain imaginations. Mm. <sighs> Oh God. <sighs> Pastor Fred? Just wish I'm his wife. I can be his wife. In fact, the scripture says that whatever I want, I should only ask God. And it's possible. I will have it. It's not impossible for me to be Pastor Fred wife. the kind of man I desire. And anytime I just see his wife, I just see my image in her. Oh no, it shouldn't be. That position is for me. Uh -uh. Did the scripture not say that whatever we ask and we desire, that is going to be ours. I desire Pastor Fred and it's going to be mine. Uh -uh. Not even with all the recent revelations and dreams that I've been having. Oh, I remember the first dream I had. I saw Pastor Fred and I. with Fred. My dreams are filled with Fred. 
<laughs> no, this must be God. <sighs> Showing me that this is the man I've been waiting for. Oh, Fred, my pastor. Fred, my man of God. Fred, the man I've been longing for. Oh, Fred. <sighs> but the only obstacle to me having Fred is his wife. Oh. Even the Bible says that from the day of John the Baptist, that the kingdom of God so very far. And men and women of violence take it by force. Ah, my dreams must come true. It must just come true. It must come true. Those beautiful dreams. Ah. Pastor and his wife. If you go and meet him now, start talking about and eh, this, this, that one. What did the Bible say? Is and anything like that? As if I don't know the scriptures. And Franca, she was looking at me the other day like as if I was. Oh no, I want Fred, Pastor Fred. I want you, not just for a fling or anything. You are my husband. I'm going to marry you. You will marry me. Whatever it takes, I'm going to pay the price. Oh God, I know this is you showing me the way. Even the way to heaven is not an easy road. But I'm ready to follow the path to get past afraid. Full of grace and anointing. How do I look like a pastor's wife? I know my dreams of being in the church. But you know what? There is only one person that I can know that will support me and help me in this. Welcome. Yeah. How was it? Fine. How how is the preparation? Thank God. You just give me one moment. Let me finish this. Okay. Let me send this last email. Yes, God has been helping us. Amen. Thank God. So the t-shirts are ready? Yes, 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 they wow. are ready. They, they deliver them today. Wow. Aren't they beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Great, Great wonderful. Works. Beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Greater works. Greater, they greater got it works. just exactly the way I asked them to make it. I'm so, I'm so happy. Huh? I'm so wonderful, happy. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank God. Huh? Thank God. Thank God. Beautiful. Have I shown you the jotters as well? Yes, we have the jotters. They are ready as well. See? Our greater the works. Is ready also. <laughs> wow, is wow. So beautiful. Everything is ready, yes. And did I tell you that we have... I think as of this afternoon, we have about 43 women. What? Yes. 43 people? Yes. And just last week, you told me 20 something. Yes. <laughs> see what God has been. You can enough. see the greater ones walking now. I know that. The God of the Lord. Yes. Amen. More are still going to register Amen. in Jesus' name. <laughs> see what God has been. It's canonical. For how many, for how many countries? 15. 15, 15 all country. over the seven continents <gasps> covered. <gasps> Yes. <laughs> and yes, God is going to all increase across the seven continents. My dear, it's God is God. taking you to places. 
far and wide. My God, so much, we will be keep on praying, Amen. and the Lord is going to bring them more as she comes, Amen. Amen. and God is going to glorify Amen. Himself. I told you about Pastor Mercy. Yes, yes, yes. She just confirmed that she will also be able to minister. Ah, <laughs> All the other ministers, everybody. You know, has the confirmed. day you talked about this, Pastor Mercy, yes. it's really clicked to me. Yeah, I'm so happy. The Lord is going to do mighty things Amen. in this conference Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Huh. One more thing. The badges as well. You know that wow. I told you the these are the cases. Wow. So we just put the badges. Once the badge arrives, we'll just we'll just put it. Everything is completed. We're then. all set. Thank we're all set to the glory of God. Everything I'm 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 sure. That is I'm, lovely. I'm trying to tick everything set. I, the I'm, Lord is going to do mighty things Amen. in this conference in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. This edition is going to be glorious. Yes, <laughs> this conference is going to be powerful. Sister Joyce has not been coming to church. I called her three days ago. She didn't pick my call. I called her now. She didn't pick my call. She didn't attend the church retreat. I don't know what is happening. I have to be praying for her. I really don't know what is happening. Even Sister Franca is not picking my call. Ah, I don't know what is going on now. I have to be praying for them. May we have prayed. Amen. Let's pray once again that the Lord will take control of this conference in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the Spirit of God will take control in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray for this conference. Lord, take control of this conference Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. My dear, we are going to pray based on Acts chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. The Lord lays upon my hand. We are going to use this prayer point. This Bible verse to pray. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like a roaring, mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Based on that Bible verse, the Bible says they were what in one accord. 
they were in unity. Before we can, before the Spirit of God can operate in this conference, we, there must be unity. Let's pray that the Lord will bind all, every one of us together in love. There will be unity among all the ministers, all the participants, all the members, all the workers. Let's pray for unity. Oh God, let us pray. Lord, oh Lord, let that be unity. In the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says the Spirit of God came down. As a result of this unity, you are going to pray that in this conference, all the ministers of God and the Lord will be using to minister. Let's pray that the Lord is going to fill them with the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Oh Lord, I pray for all the ministers. Father, fill them with your Spirit. Help them to minister under your power, under your option, under your anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, help them. Empower your minister God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray. As a result of this unity, as a result of this outpouring of the Spirit, the Bible says in verse 37 that we are, they, they, they are what the conviction and they are what the repentance. We are going to pray that in this conference there will be true repentance. There will be righteousness. There will be holiness. There will be peace. They are not begin to pray. The old Lord will pray for this conference. Oh, Father, let your name not be glorified. Save souls, transform lives, oh Lord. Lord, touch everyone. Touch everyone, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray. The Bible says they will have the gospel. They went everywhere preaching the gospel. This woman will be coming from all the continent of the world. So let's pray that they, are, they will be hearing the word. The word will benefit them and they will go back to their country, to their continent, preaching the gospel in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. That the fire will continue to burn. That the fire will continue to burn. They will carry the gospel to all the continents of the world. In the name of Jesus, the women will be touched. The women will be revived. Oh Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray for provision that the Lord is going to provide in the name of Jesus. My dear, I remember. Sorry, I should have told you. We have received donations from different people already yes women and men of god they have already donated to the program we can pray we can pray we can thank god for that and also pray for more thank you jesus for this profession thank you god blessed be your holy name lord bless all these people that have contributed in the name of jesus thank you jesus father bless them all everyone that has come let's pray for more provision that the lord is going to provide for oh lord provide for provide provide in the name of jesus oh lord have Away. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I give you all the glory. Thank you for the grace to be here, Lord. Against all odds, Lord, you brought me to this place to minister in this conference. Father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for the theme of the conference, Greater Works. And greater works shall it be, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Greater works we will do in our ministries, in our marriages. Greater works in everything you have called us into. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we will not fail you, Lord. Because greater works indeed shall we do in the name of Jesus. We receive grace, Father, to do greater works. I need to call Pastor Lisa. Holy Spirit, thank you for Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the privilege to be here, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Hello, Ma. Hello, woman of God. How are you? We bless God. I just came in a few minutes ago. How is your hotel room? I hope it's very comfortable. The hotel is really good. And the room is very beautiful. Thank you. And please, Ma, hope you are wearing your t-shirts. Yes, Greater Works. Yes, the Greater Works t-shirts. That's what I'm wearing as well. That's, that's what we are all wearing, Ma. Yes, every evening, all through the three-day program, we'll be wearing these t-shirts, Ma. Okay. Okay. So this year we changed the venue. We are not using that same hotel. But the venue we are using, the hall is just around the corner. It's not far at all. Greater what shall we do in Jesus' name? Amen. I'm on my way now. Uh, I'll see you shortly. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for inviting me. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ma. See you soon, ma. See you soon. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah, Father, let your name be glorified. I know two lines will be powerful. I trust you, Lord, to move in a way that you have never done before. In Jesus' name. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. Wow, that was awesome, Ma. We bless ah, God. We bless that God. That was a powerful the message. We thank God for that. Thank God. God. Thank faithful. God. The Lord used you mightily. Oh, we appreciate God for that. To and give to you all the glory. <laughs> to think that you almost did not come. Because thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for not giving up. <laughs> I need to thank Daddy as well for releasing you. Ah, amen, we thank amen, God. Amen. We thank and God. thank God for what God is doing in your ministry. Ah. The Lord is faithful. Mm. Eh? The Lord is helping you yeah. a lot. We are trusting in him yes. every day. We've we learned to you. put all our trust in him. That's all we can mm. do. That's mm. all we can do. It's I thank faithful. God for your life and I thank God for your ministry. It's, been faithful, it's well right? with you Amen. and it's well with your ministry. Amen. Thank Jesus. you so much, man. You're welcome. I'm sure Pastor will also be somewhere around the corner to, you know, to appreciate you, man. No thank problem. you so, so I'm much. I'm still around. Anyways. Thank you so, yeah. so much. I just want to take some water over there. So, okay. in this case, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no problem. There are actually plenty of refreshments there. Thank Help you. yourself, man. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. You're welcome. Thank you. And it's well with you. In check. Hello, ma. Good afternoon. Sister. Franca. Ma. Franca. God bless you, ma. How are you? Fine, God bless you. Powerful program. Oh, thank you. Thank God I'm part of this. Wow, so amazing. Do you hold it regularly? Yes, we do. Um, this is our 12th edition, so mm. by God's grace, this time next year we'll be having our 13th edition of the, wow. of the conference. Wow. Okay. By the special grace of God, I would love to be part, by God's grace, for this next edition. I trust God, as God keeps us, so I'll be part of the uh, next year edition. I was really blessed massively today. Thank wow. God. Thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so happy. I feel fulfilled that you are being blessed. We thank God. We thank God for the success of everything. If I may ask, if you don't mind, how did you get to know about the program? Ah, it's my, my friend, Sister Joyce. She's the one that invited me for this program. Okay, Sister Joyce. We normally sit together. For these past two days, we've been sitting together. At the same time, we lodged in the same hotel, the same room. It's wonderful. Mm. Thank God for the guest ministers, everyone that came, everyone that spoke. Uh, God used them mighty, and we are so blessed. Thank, thank, you, so thank you so much. Hope you are blessed by the program. Yes, God. Yes. Oh, Pastor Faith! Hello, sister. Good evening, sir. How are you? Ah, can I have a nice <laughs> Good evening, sir. I'm so happy to see you. I hope you enjoyed the program. Oh my God! It's been weird, it's been wonderful, but I've been waiting for your session. I've been following you for some time. You know, you are wonderful. Yeah. In Jesus. Amen. Please, my regard to Pastor and family. Say to me, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. I give you praise, Lord. You, so I'm thank seeing you live and doing it today. Blessed. May the Lord continue to bless you and everything you have had. May the Lord allow you to prosper in your heart. Amen. 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 God bless you. Ah, God bless you. Um, please, sir. Uh, please, just one moment. 
I have promised the Lord that when I see you at this program, I'm going to put a seed in your air. So I have brought a seed. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Oh, baby. Amen, sir. God bless. God bless you, sir. Wow! Confirmation! <laughs> Sister Joyce. Hello, dear. Uh, welcome, Daddy. I'm sorry for coming late. How was the program today? Uh. The Lord took all the glory. Thank all our you. prayers in the middle of the night, in the Thank morning. You know, God Jesus. showed Himself my Jesus. God just took over. When I was in the spirit, just praying, and I oh. thank God for the testimony. Thank God. No, there were testimonies. Thank God. Sister Joyce. Oh, Sister How Franca. Are you? Oh, I am good. How was the program today? Oh, wow. Did you see Pastor Fred? Yes, I saw him. He just passed here now. Yes, I saw him. What about him? Oh my! How was the program? The program, not Pastor Fred. I saw Pastor Fred. Oh yeah, that. you know. I'm just waiting for his ministration. I know it's going to be powerful. Ah. Well, I was so blessed in no oh. small way. Wow. In fact, I just had a brief talk with the pastor's wife, mm -hmm. and uh, by God's grace, I will also be attending this program next year. Really? Yes, I was blessed. I was ministered to <laughs> next year. Another level. I'm glad that you are blessed. But you know what? God is just confirming his word to me. Now, Tell me more about the mission. Uh, let's get to our hotel room. Hey. By the way, my dear, I saw one of the participants wearing the same shirt like this outside. She was so excited. Really? Yes. I knew that she has been blessed through this program. I know. So oh. many, so many testimonies. Yeah. Wow. She gave me the... Wow. And I prayed for her. Wow. Thank you, sir. As a seed of honor, Thank we God. bless God. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord will multiply it in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Wow. So, testimonies upon testimonies. Uh, honestly, where do I start from? Is it the woman that, you know, uh, uh, she said an uh, husband that had left like 15 years ago. Because of the meeting, the husband called her. Called her. She, she said he's coming back home. Thanks, she, uh, No doubt. Testimonies, miracles, instant miracles. God, God took over. He showed himself. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we prayed and he answered. Thank you, we give God all the Thank glory. You. This is just the beginning. The Lord will continue to increase you Amen. and expand the ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm so happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start going. Set, I'm set. I'm set. Let's Thank start you. going. Yeah. Let's go back to our hotel. Room. It is good. All right. Bye bye. dream is this? Lord have mercy, what is this now? How can a woman be? How can a woman? I saw a woman trying to push the woman of God out of the water. Lord have mercy, what is this? Should I, should I tell the woman of God about this dream? No, 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 no. I should, I should, I should, I should have to sit for her. There's no need. Hi, Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. I come against every conspiracy of the enemy. Against your daughter. Father, I come against it in the name of Jesus. Her place, no one else will take it in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy against her from the, from the powers of darkness. Father, I put a stop. To it now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. Father, let the standard be lifted up against every devices of the enemy, against your daughter. Hey, it shall not come to pass, it shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. She will jump through a troop and leap over, leap over all the walls of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. As the deer panted after the water, so her soul continues to pant after. Hey, my God. 
My God. What is all this demon revelation about? What is going on with my friend? The different revelations, and now you are lead. He said you are leading her to do this. And the woman of God said in that conference that every encounter or revelation we have that is not in line with God's word, we must discard. But where is the place of God's word in this whole revelation? God, please, I need an answer. I don't know what is happening. Something is wrong. Hey, God. Hi, God. And in this whole case, Joyce just believe everything she's saying is right. The other time she said I prophesied. And yes, I did. This is not right. How do I help? How do I come in? How do I help? How do I come in, Lord? Hi. Please deliver my friend. Ah, Father, deliver my friend, Joyce. Deliver her. Deliver her, Lord. <laughs> you, have to, you have to take it. I'm enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? Good. I'm enjoying it. You have to feed me too. Oh. Yes, Pastor. How many do you want to take? Yeah. You want more? Yes. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor. Oh. Oh. Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pastor, I love you, Pastor Fred. I love you, Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred? of watching Pastor Fred broadcast and then I had a dream that Pastor Fred was here I was sitting here I offered him my plantain chips and we were playing and was telling me he loved me Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation again. I'm not imagining things. This is reality. In fact, he was wearing the T-shirt I saw him wore at the conference that his wife organized that I attended. That first time that I placed a seed in his hand, Lord, this is not just an imagination. This is reality. You are really showing me that Pastor Fred is your way for my life. It must surely come to pass. It must surely come to pass. I must reach Sister Rita again. Yeah. Good evening. 
Yeah, it's been a while, I know. Did you see what I sent to you? Yeah, some days ago. I transferred some money to your account. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's for you and the children. I'm good. And you and uncle. Yeah. Ah, Sister Rita. There is something I want you to do for me. And I know that you are the one who can do this for me. Yeah, you know about this marriage thing. Yes. Finally, God has done it. Yes, God has shown me the man I'm going to marry. In fact, he's someone you will love. He's a man of God to the core. He has a very wonderful ministry, growing ministry, large ministry like that. Yeah, and he's doing well. No, 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 not in my city. He's in the other city. Not too far from us. But you know, as a promising man of God with all the grace and all the anointing, there are different women, you know, flourishing around him. In fact, there is a particular woman, in, you know, who is so adamant on him. Yes, that, and that's why it's not, you know, he's not coming up like I expect him to be. Yes, I prayed about In fact, God has shown me diverse dreams and revelation. I am convinced that it is the will of God for my life. Yes. I need prayers. In fact, I need spiritual backup. And I know that you are the one who can help me. I know until that you have different pastors and prophets and ministers that pray with you. Yes, I, you know the scripture says, with God, nothing shall be impossible. And he said, whatever we want, we ask in his name and it will be done. But you know, there are people that are closer to God than, than us. And I know you know them. That when they speak like this, is from their mouths to the hear of God straight. Don't worry. I will contact all the men and women of God that I know to back you up in prayers. The Lord will perfect all he has started. Trust me, Aunt Rita. You know I know how to take care of men of God. Yes, I'm going to send his details. And I want you to contact those pastors, ministers, you know, I know you have many of them that pray for you. Yes. Whether they need to go to the mountain. No, 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 not only in Europe, even back home. The ones in Europe, I mean those ones you have back home. Yes. I'm ready, I'm ready because I am sure of what I have received, what I have, uh, what the Lord has shown me. I'm really sure about it. Yes. Whatever it takes, every obstacle and hindrances, that the Lord will clear them out of the way. And that, you know, the man of God will just look at me and, he too, you know, when he's distracted, that will he receive from God? We will pray. And it will turn out the way you want it to be. You know, my dependable maternal auntie. I know. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie, thank you so much. All right. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. From the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God survived violence. And men and women of violence take it by force. Joyce, I'm having afraid. Is the one God has shown me. And everything that wants to stand in the way, clear out. I trust that he uh, I trust that. Finally, Joyce has found someone whom she's sure of. <laughs> but she said the obstacles 
of the women closer to the man. Hmm. I must support her in this. I need to call the men of God that I know for prayer support. Good evening, man of God. I don't even know whether those prayers, we need to intensify it. Something must happen. Either she leaves or she dies. Whatever that she needs to do, she needs to do it. Me, I want Pastor Fred. And that's what God is showing me. Yes, it's God that is showing me. This is, this is God. Ah, Lord. <laughs> you are going to bring this to pass. In fact, where is my phone? You're going to bring this to pass. <laughs> Antonio on the line. Good evening, sir. Joyce on the line. Uh, I was the lady that you met um, at the women conference, you know, the last time. Yeah, I met you outside the hall and I placed a seed in your hand. Glory be to God. Pastor Fred, I have been so blessed by your ministry. In fact, I've been an ardent follower for some time now. You are truly a man of God. Anointed of God. And you speak with wisdom. It is God who is at work in me. And it is for his good purpose. In fact, I'm an ardent follower. You know, on all your social media and And I don't miss you. Weekly broadcast, both on social media and on the national television. Wow! So you follow the weekly broadcast as well? That is interesting. You have been a huge blessing to my life. In fact, in a way that you do not even know. And by the leading of the Holy Spirit, you know, I would like to sow a seed into your life. Sure, you can. Our details are on, on our website. Actually, it's a personal seed that I want to sow. So, I want to sow into your personal life. Oh, you mean my personal account? Yes, sir. God bless you. Just one moment. Let me get the details for you. Yes, sir. Jesus. Okay, one moment. Sir. I'll just note it on my phone. Yes. Please go ahead. BF four five. Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Bless and reward you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it right away. In fact, it's the Holy Spirit that put it in my heart. And you know what? I have to do it immediately. That's one of the things you are teaching us, sir. To be prompt in obeying the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, Jesus. D. D. Yes. 
D. Yes. So, who called? One of the women who was at your conference the other time. Really? It is time for me to start sewing into my future home. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. My Pastor Fred. She's an ardent follower of my weekly broadcast. And she got to know about your conference from that program. Wow. Okay. But, um, was that why she called and how did she get our house now? She called to appreciate God for our lives okay. and for our ministries. And She sent it already. What did she send? Money. 3,000 euros to support my weekly broadcast. Wait. How did she get your account details? Did she have your account details before? I just gave her some minutes ago after she asked for it. Really? Yes. That happened all too fast. But Thank God. We bless God for our life. God bless her. Thank you, God Jesus. Bless her. <gasps> She's calling. Oh, okay. Hello. God bless you, sister. Okay. Thank you so much. We just received the money right now. May the Lord meet you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus. My wife and I really appreciate your support. And I pray that the Lord will open the heavens upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Have a blessed evening. Bye. D. God showed up right in time. I need to pay for the 10 episode of the light broadcast. Sorry. And now it is here. Mm. Ah. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This can only be God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is ever faithful. Just right in time. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let them that strive with me, let them fall. Let them that strive with me, let them fall. Dark as you are striving with me over Fred, you have to go down now. It's time for you to be eliminated. Yes. Mm. Sam. <laughs> everything, everything inside. Everything. 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 Hmm? Yes. Yes. Come, 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 come. Yes. It's done. Now, we to take the water and bath with it.
Face to cast. Why is she leaving our room? This is happening again and again. Has she gone to another room to pray? I don't understand. What is happening? service. We bless you, Lord, for the move of your spirit. They glorify in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray that your blessings you have showered upon us shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. pray that in this new week, you guide us and be with us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Mm -hmm. Problem. Is everything okay? No problem. Did I offend you? No. I've been noticing this for the past few days. That's you are not so happy. Is everything okay? There's no problem. Maybe I just maybe I just need some time to myself. sleep in the same room with him. I want to sleep in the visitor's room. I don't know why this has happened to me, God. I don't know why. Why? Why am I behaving like this? As a woman of God, why can't I love and honor my husband as I've always done? What's, what is missing? What, what is wrong with me? Who do I talk to? <sighs> I need to pray. This is not right. I need to pray. Father, I am. Why do they rage? Why do they gather? Why do they march? what I discussed with you. I mean about my conviction about Pastor Fred. I was not expecting you to do that. In fact, you really disappointed hmm. me. Sister Joyce, I am sorry 
for informing the pastor's wife about what you told me. I was confused. I needed to clarify as I have never had such a thing in my life before. You claim God is leading you to a married man to be your husband. Can God contradict himself? My sister. Are you doubting what I received from the Lord? The scripture says, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. In this case, husband. Deuteronomy 5.20. 5.21, sorry. Are you saying that I'm, I'm covetous? Even the pseudos. Chapter 20, verse 17. I know what God is showing me. And I'm sure it is the Lord that is showing me. Listen to me. Sister Joyce. What the scripture is saying. Is to more entertain impure thoughts. Ah. So now. I'm having impure thoughts. Eh? No, my sister. God is not the one showing you all this. These dreams. And imagination of your heart. They are born out of covetousness and obsession. You are calling the vision of God impure. Ah. Uh -huh. I am sorry if I sound harsh. Anyway, I don't blame you. I blame myself for sharing this with you. This is not in line with God's word. This is not. Philippians 4 8 says, Whatsoever thing is pure. Joyce. See, I won't stay online listening to your rubbish. My sister, you're on a suicide mission. Hey, enough. If you think this woman will die, so that you will marry her husband. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. I can't stay here listening to your rubbish. Count me out. Completely. Out of this nonsense. Count me out. I will be praying for you. That you will come out of this delusion. Hello? 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 No problem. Truth is bitter. Lord, please deliver Sister Joyce. Please. Hello, dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank God. How are you doing too? How has your day been? Oh, praise God. Yes, I went to the hospital as planned. Mm, yeah. Based on the, you know, the symptoms I complained about, the the doctors were actually a bit concerned. Um. Yeah. Yeah, they recommended a few tests which I'll do. But I know it as well. I know it as well. God is in charge, so there's nothing to worry about. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, no, I'm not going back to the office. Um I've already taken the rest of the day off, so I'm at home waiting for you. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. <sighs> Jesus Christ.
Hello, Pastor Messi. God bless you too, Ma. Good evening, Ma. I am good. How are you? How is the family? Yes, we are doing great too. The, the ministry is going well. We are doing fine as well. Thank God. I was actually planning to reach to reach out to you earlier. I have been having this, you know, having some revelations about you. Please, can you tell me about those dreams, ma? Sure. I have, I have a leading in my spirit to share it with you anyways. Yes. Hmm. I had a dream of someone pushing you out of the altar. Pushing you out of your place. And then I, have a, I had another dream of someone throwing sand into your eyes. I have been praying about it, rejecting all the imaginations, the evil imaginations of the devil against you and against your family. Thank you very much for standing in the gap for me and my family ma, and our ministry too. The Lord will uphold your home as well and your ministry. Amen. I could perceive I could perceive the skinning of the enemy. Yes, I've been having some dreams as well. Yes, ma. And with what you just told me, I know I need to pray more now. Yes. Yes, yes you are victorious in Jesus' name. I will not relent in prayers to God concerning you. I believe that God is with you. Yes. I will. I will definitely take it up in prayer again. All right, ma. Thank you very much, ma. My regards to daddy. Stay strong. You are victorious in the name of Jesus. <sighs> To pass. Come to pass. Mm, it is a vain imagination. So, Sister Joyce, like I told you, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, it says, Call upon me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Like the way you asked me yesterday, the question you asked me yesterday, if you pray unto God, God will answer you. He will answer all your heart desire if you pray. Is that clear? Um, um, Pastor Fred, uh, uh, thank you so much for your time. But you know, um, I still have another question. I'm listening. Yes, um, actually, it's about the church, you know. Presently, I don't have a church. You know, my former church, the Lord revealed some certain things to me about the church, so I left there. And I was just thinking, is it really compulsory, you know, to belong to a church? You know, I love your church. I love what God is doing to you. Yeah, I know um, we are not in the same city, but I'm really planning on relocating to your city because the Lord has spoken to me and has shown me some great opportunities uh, there. But why I'm on that? Is it really compulsory to belong to a church? How about the church? Ah, Sister Joyce, I need to tell you this. You, you will have to stay under a pastor. You have to have a home church. You cannot just say every every church is the same. No, there are some churches you you need to be under a pastor. <laughs> the Bible says in Hebrews chapter ten verse twenty five, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. 
you need to stay in this church. Even if you travel to our church, you still have to stay under a pastor. I pray God will give you understanding. In Jesus' name, you are prayed. Amen. 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 She's back. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here, sir. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Bye. Sweetheart, this same sister Joyce. I left two hours ago, sweetheart. You were on the phone with her when I was leaving. And you are still on the phone with her. This, I don't like this. I don't like the sound of this. Does she not have her own church? Does she not have her own pastor that can counsel her? This is not right. It's draining you. I can't even, I came back, I come back from work, I can't even talk to you, feed you back on things. We don't have time to talk again. What is going on, sweetheart? This is not right. Sweetheart, ah. she needs my attention. She needs, she needs, she she needs her pastor's on her attention, mind. not your attention. Oh, my. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred. Anyway, it's just a matter of time. We will soon be doing ministry together because what God has shown me is what He will do. Oh. I still remember the, the, the revelation I got two days ago. Give me heat. heat. Let somebody give me hair. Yes. Let somebody that is happy give me you. You. Let somebody that want to see greater things ahead tomorrow give me the last hair. Yes. And let somebody say. Yes. Let's put the hand together. Jesus. Amen. souls into our ministry or into your ministry that must have free access into our lives into your life sweetheart we have to be careful yes we appreciate her we prayed for her and to me I think that is it you don't have to become a pastor a friend or everything I think this access is getting too much, sweetheart. We need to be careful. We need to be careful. I pray God will help us. Hello, Sarita. Yeah, good evening, Auntie. Yeah, I'm good. And you? Yes, I'm doing everything as instructed by your pastor. Yes, I'm praying into the water every night. I'm using it to well. I'm using it to, yeah, to eat also. And I'm sending in a regular gift. Yes, I'm doing just that. Yeah. In fact, I just... <laughs> I just got off the phone with him now. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm seriously looking for an apartment over there. I understand the instruction. I must move closer. Mm. In fact, I've told him now that... Uh, 
I would like to come and see him. You know, he's a big minister. So women are just all around him. But this particular woman, if can just get out of the way, then it's fine. Yeah. Whatever we want to stand in the way of God must be cleared out. Yeah, tell the pastors to keep on doing their homework. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -uh. I'm confident that Fred is mine. He will marry me. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. sister. Okay. How are your children? Okay, okay. No problem. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I will send some money again so that you can give those pastors. They should not come down on the mountain until <laughs> everything we want is the way it is. And I know that very soon it will be like that because the revelation I got a few days ago shows me that I'm closer to it. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Sister Rita, my auntie, auntie, auntie. Who are you? And what are you spraying in my house? in my house what have you come to do here there's no room for you here you are not allowed here so you have to get out of my house now get out that's the way you came in get out ah. what's going on here Spirit. what's what has she done to spray in here jesus jesus oh my god what strange woman is this? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. What's going on here, Holy Spirit? Oh, Father, help me. Help me. It's, all, it's obvious the devil means business. But he has failed. He has failed. Ah. Yes, that conversation with Pastor Messi. <laughs> it is obvious that the devil means business. But he has failed. He has missed road. Ah! Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I need to talk to you about something. Ah! We need to pray, sweetheart. We need to pray. This is not happening, man. You're not in my home. Ah. You remember that um, um, dream I told you about? What happened? I, you know, I said I saw, I saw a strange woman, veiled. I couldn't even see her face at all. She was trying to open the door to our house. And then, so that was dream number one. Next. Um, time again, I, I had this other dream. This time, I I was in my, you know, my office at work. Office? Yes, this one was work office. And then they, there's this woman that came into my office. So, there is nothing that our God cannot do. And actually, I have a book that I believe will minister to your spirit. I trust the Holy Spirit that as you, as you read that book, it will minister to your spirit book for you. Oh, 
husband's photo. Why would she take my husband's photo? irritation that been having against you for some time and we've not been able to talk you are always on the phone with ah, I don't know and I you know I just after that second dream I now started remembering I was just um, you know my conversation with Pastor Messi I think I told you about my conversation with Pastor Messi yeah. hey. She told me she had been having some, you know, God had been showing her some things right from the time she came from the conference. And about all, so about the... About all, was about me and you, sweetheart. That God has been revealing some things to her about our marriage and, um, you know, she was explaining everything to me in that conversation, how, you know, uh, the devil has been trying all means to take me out of the picture and... You know, all these hell challenges, all these issues mm -hmm. we were having, you know? Mm -hmm. ah, yes, yes. So I I was just thinking and I think I just slept off. And I had this, just now, I had this dream again. Again? Yes. So this time, <laughs> you know the first one, the woman was completely veiled. Yes. The next one, she had dark shades, so yes, yes. it was... There was an, a kind of unveiling, you know, gradual unveiling. Then mm. this time she actually, she was, I could, she didn't, she wasn't covering her face or anything. And this time <laughs> I saw her, I saw her right in our living room. Our living room? Yes, she was spraying something all over the room. <sighs> and it's exactly that same shape. Same thing, yes. Maybe. So, and. She was actually wearing our conference t shirts you know that uh, purple conference t-shirt? Conference t-shirt? Yes. yes. Mm. So, I knew that she's, a, she, she's definitely a strange woman and the devil is, it's so obvious that the devil is trying to use her to come into, you know, our home either to take me out mm. or, you know, pull you and I... It will never happen. It will never happen, so that. It will never happen in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The devil has failed. The devil has failed. Anyway, mm -hmm. I think we need to pray. But before we pray, I thought I would ask you. This, um, that's um, sister that we've been having conversations with lately. This sister, um, Joyce or whatever her name is. I'm just thinking, have you seen her face before at all? Not really. I've never seen her before. Oh, oh, I remember. I've seen, I met her before. She came to our conference. Really? Yes. She was the one that gave me the seed on the last day of the conference. You mean our women's conference? Yes. I see. Though the contact was brief, but I got to know more mm. about her through the conversations. Mm. 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 I see. <laughs> anyway. So from those conversations, yes. I'm just wondering, do you, did she tell you anything about whether she's married, you know, her husband lives or where her husband lives? In fact, that's what we are talking about right now. We are praying about her marital life. You know, she had been calling, talking about her marital life. In fact, she told me confidently that the Lord has revealed, has revealed her husband to her, that he's an anointed man of God. Huh? Great man of God, full of anointing, okay. full of grace, mm. with big ministry, mm. but that there is a strange woman who is after her husband to be. A strange fact, woman after her husband? Yes, and I've been praying that, that the Lord will get rid of that strange woman. Get rid of who? The strange woman who is after her husband to be. Okay. 
So that is what you, you have been praying about now. And I believe God is going to answer our prayer in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Let's pause it there, sweetheart. I think at this point, you need to let me take over, mm. you know. I think as, you know, woman to woman, I'm in a better position to pray with her, to counsel her, you know, to help her, to, mm. you know, that God will... will Bring the man, this so-called man of God, and whoever her husband is, that God will give her a husband. Amen. Sweetheart, you don't need to worry. I think if you, you have a number, right? Yes. Please, let me. Maybe you give you give me that number. Please, did I put my phone? You give me a number, okay. and then I will call her and we'll take it from there. Okay. What I have been seeing, what I'm perceiving in my spirit mm. about this strange woman is not good at all. It's like she's gradually gaining access into our home. <laughs> and if care is not taken, God forbid, she will not she will not she will not have access into this home in Jesus' name. <laughs> because I don't understand. Why will a strange woman, you know, be trying to open our 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 door, spraying things in our house, coming into my office again? It's so and then this this sister Joyce that uh, good guy, you're ready to speak in soon. She's taking all, all your attention. I just don't feel, uh, you know, comfortable in my spirit about this whole thing. It's, it's looking like the devil is trying to come into our home and he has failed in the name of Jesus. He has failed. We are going to pray against every evil imagination, everything that is not of God, whatsoever it is, wherever they are gathered, the Lord will scatter them, the Lord will frustrate their counsel, all their plans will destroy in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring your hand, we've not even prayed in the time. Oh, Father, the God of heaven, whatsoever is not of God, any seed that you have not planted in this family, we take, take them out, we pluck them, in the name of Jesus, every evil imagination, the Bible says, why are the heavy region and the people who face a strength thing? Oh, Lord Jesus, this is a strength thing. This is an evil thing. And we speak the word of God against this. They will not think. They will not happen. It will, the devil will not have access. No strange woman will have access into my marriage. No strange woman will have access into my home. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we will fight my battle. Whatever it is, whoever they are, wherever she's coming from, Lord, you will silence her. You will take her out. In the name of Jesus, you will Lord God, thank you, Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for today's service. It's so wonderful. Thank you for salvation of souls. Thank you for lives that are delivered. Thank you for what you alone can do that you did today in today's service. Lord, I give you praise. But I'm, I'm seriously concerned about Sister Joyce. She didn't come to church today again. I'm worried, I'm concerned about what uh, Sister, Sister Franca told me about her. Ah, I hope this, this lady is not under a strange anointing. Jesus, what do I do now? Ah, my God. Ah, ah, my Father, my God. Lord, I leave this sister open to you. Lord, you alone. You alone will depend on to deliver her, wherever she is at, the, at this moment. Father, hmm, your hand is not too short to deliver. Father, you will deliver her. Lay your hands upon her and set her free. In the name of Jesus, I'm so concerned about her. Jesus, just do the work of deliverance over Sister Joyce. Lord, I appreciate you. Thank you for that which you alone can do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Yes, 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 yes. I lay hold on of Fred. Fred, let your heart begin to desire me now. Begin to desire me now. Begin to desire me now. By all the virtue of the gift 
all the virtue of the money I have sent to you. Fred, you belong to me. You belong to me. This is the seventh day that I've been fasting and praying with all the Psalms that all the men of God that went to the mountain to pray for 21 days that the heart of Fred turns to me and Dorcas, hey, clear out of the way, clear out of the way, clear out of the way, whatever it is, clear out, clear out. And they said they can't divorce, they can't separate. No, we are so clear out, clear out, clear out. He said, because I am precious and honor, he give men in exchange for me. Yes, in this situation, Fred belongs to me. I claim Fred. I claim Fred. Fred, you are my possession. I possess you. 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 Fred, I lay hold on you. You belong to me. I lay hold on you. I am now the new Mrs. Joyce of Mortaya. We. We. Why do the earth enrage and the people imagine a vain thing against the Lord and against his anointed? This is a vain imagination and you have no room in this family. I have warned you, woman, leave my husband alone. Now, out of my house, out of my marriage, out of my family forever. You have no place here in the name of Jesus. Yeah? Nobody will come in between us. She has no space here. Nobody will exchange my husband. We, we. Joyce again? Joyce? Ah, no way. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God of heaven and earth. Your word says in Numbers 23, 23. Ah, surely there is no divination against your God. No enchantment against this man. Oh, no divination against this family. Not whoever it is that this woman is trying to bring into my home. It will not stand. This is a vain imagination, oh Lord. This is an evil imagination. Imagination. No. Fred. Fred. Pastor Fred. You are my husband. I believe so. I know so. Why do they rage? Why do they gather? Why do they imagine they... You claim God is leading you to a married man to be your husband. Can God contradict himself? God cannot. The scripture says, Thou shalt not covet your neighbor's wife. In this case, husband, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 21. Also in Exodus 20, verse 17. Listen to me, Sister Joyce. What the scripture is saying is, do not entertain impure thoughts. No, my sister. God is not the one showing you all those dreams you are just imagining are born out of covetousness and obsession. I 
nerviosa. Good evening, sir. I'm not fine, sir. Yeah, I've stopped coming for some months now. I don't know, I'm just confused. I'm confused. A lot of things are not going fine with me. I just lost my job this afternoon. And I've been in and out of the hospital for the past two weeks. The doctors have not been able to come to a, you know, to a conclusion. They've been trying to diagnose what is actually wrong with me. But I'm not feeling fine. My sister, you're on a suicide mission. Hey, enough! If you think this woman will die so that you will marry her husband, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. Yeah. 